I've got something on my mind I bet you know what I'm thinking about You know I can't stop loving you Welcome back guys, so today we are doing a cook and clean with me video But I wanted to do a quick introduction since I'm actually collaborating with another youtuber on this video So a few weeks ago I asked you guys on Instagram who you wanted to see me collaborate with and so many of you guys said Meg from the Love Meg channel so here we are. <laughs> so a lot of you guys might already be subscribed to her. She does a lot of cleaning videos and she's also a mommy. I'm actually in awe of how much cleaning she can get done in such a short amount of time having two kids because I have one and I struggle. So yeah, if you guys need some cleaning motivation, inspiration, definitely check out her channel. So she's also gonna be doing like a recipe and then cleaning. Um, so once you guys are done watching my video, definitely go check out her video. Let her know that I sent you and subscribe to her channel as well. Um, if you guys are coming from her channel, welcome. My name is Liz. I am a new mom. I have a five month old named Sebastian. Um, I do a lot of like lifestyle videos on my channel from cooking to home decor to a little bit of cleaning. Um, so if you guys like any of those videos, definitely subscribe. I will leave my playlist down below so you guys can like check some of them out and see if you like what you see. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video. Ever since having Sebastian, I've had to learn how to be even more efficient with my time, especially when it comes to making dinner without having to sacrifice the quality of your dinner. So on the menu tonight, we have vodka pasta with meatballs. And even though it's gonna seem like a lot of work, I'm gonna show you guys how I broke everything down to have the kitchen clean at the same time that dinner was ready. So I'm starting by preparing the meatballs because I can prepare those ahead of time and put them in the fridge and set them aside for later. So I'm adding onions, Italian seasoning, oregano, chili peppers, a sprinkle of sea salt, Parmesan cheese, just a splash of hot sauce, and also some breadcrumbs, ricotta cheese, and I also added Worcestershire sauce, but I have all of the exact measurements written down in the info box for you guys, along with all the ingredients. So I go ahead and give that a good mix with clean hands. If you notice that the meatballs are a little too dry, you can always add more ricotta cheese, and if they're too wet, you can add more breadcrumbs. So one pound of ground beef makes about four large meatballs, which is perfect for me and my husband, and there's even like one left over for the next day. So I'll go ahead and put that in the fridge, and that will be ready to just be popped in the oven once I'm ready to start cooking it but at first I actually want to start working on my vodka sauce because I want that to simmer on the stove for some time so it'll really absorb all the flavors so for the sauce I'm going to start off with some pancetta it's going to release its own oils and once it does I will go ahead and add some chopped up onions again all of the exact measurements and ingredients will be in the down bar for you guys uh, but I will saute those onions and once they are nice and translucent I will go ahead and add some chopped up garlic to that Once the garlic is nice and fragrant, this is when you wanna add your shot of vodka. You wanna cook it for about 10 minutes, making sure that you mix it really well, and this is going to help get rid of any alcohol. Then I went ahead and added my crushed tomatoes. I will then add crushed red peppers to it, a little bit of sugar to balance out the acidity, and then a little bit of Italian seasonings. And then I added some heavy cream. And for the last ingredient, you wanna add some Parmesan cheese. You can either add it shredded, but what I like to do is cut off a chunk from the hard part of the Parmesan cheese, and this is going to give it extra flavor. I will bring that down to a low heat and I will just leave it like that for about 30 minutes. And this is perfect because it gives me time to clean up the kitchen. You guys will see me as I'm doing my cleanup, I'll go back and kind of stir the sauce just to make sure that nothing gets stuck to the bottom of the pan. In 30 minutes, I'm pretty much able to put everything back in the fridge, back in the pantry, and just completely clear off all the countertops. Every now and then I get lucky and the dishwasher is already empty so I can go ahead and reload it. But on this day it was actually full so I went ahead and unloaded the dishwasher and then started loading some more dishes into it. Um, I didn't turn the dishwasher on though because I want to be able to turn it on at the end of the night once we're completely done with dinner. So are you happy now? Things just got so crazy from a simple maybe It was a long way down I just feel so heavy without you Everything we were was just so pretty Pretty enough to almost make me blind Still denying everything you told me I'll repeat it in my mind All our memories goes on and on Flashing up like disco lights on and on The dance floor where I met you I dance on
And by this time, Sebastian woke up from his nap, so I went ahead and got him and put him in his little activity center, um, which you guys will see him in a minute in the background playing. Thirty minutes have gone by and the sauce has simmered long enough so I go ahead and start on my pasta and the water for the pasta takes a little while to start boiling so it gives me just enough time to turn the stove on salt the water this is really important you never want to forget to salt your water when you're making pasta and then also add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil put that on high heat and while that comes up to a boil it gives me just enough time to clear off the table where we're gonna be eating and it also gives me enough time to wipe down the rest of the counter so I had already decluttered them so now it was just a matter of spraying them down and wiping them down so that once dinner is done the cleanup is so much easier walking through the cold streets where you used to hold me you know it's been a while ever since i saw you oh baby everything we were was just so pretty pretty enough to almost make me blind still So once my water starts to boil, I'll go ahead and cook my pasta. I'm actually making pappardelle, which is my all-time favorite type of pasta. And I'm going to cook it one minute less than al dente. So I just follow the instructions on the bag. Um, and then I also go ahead and put my meatballs on the oven by this point. So then I can go back and do a little bit more cleaning up and I kind of made a mess on the floor with the spices so I just took my vacuum cleaner and just did a quick little vacuum, um, nothing super fancy. This thing is awesome you guys, this cordless vacuum just makes it to where it's so easy to just do quick cleanups like this. My pasta will be ready before my meatballs, so I go ahead and drain them. But before I drain them, I save some of that pasta water. This is gonna come in handy later on to kind of dilute the sauce a little bit if it gets too thick. So I'll set that aside. I will add some olive oil to my pasta so that it doesn't stick. And then I will coat the pasta with some sauce. And I'll put that on low and just kind of let it simmer there for a little bit while the meatballs continue cooking. And this is why I undercook the pasta because it's gonna continue cooking while I have it on low heat. I used to love making my own salads from scratch, but nowadays something's gotta give, so these bags of organic salad mix come in handy. They're a lifesaver. Sometimes we don't like the dressing that it comes with, so we kinda just set that to the side and use our own dressing, which is pretty much what we did this night. As you guys can see, I still have six minutes until the meatballs were done, so I just kinda did a little bit more tidying up in the coffee station, and all that was really left to do was just to wait around <laughs> for the pasta to be done. The kitchen was clean, the dishes were clean. All of this took an hour and a half from start to finish. Um, we were able to have dinner just in time for Sebastian's nighttime routine to start. And after dinner, all that I was left to do was wipe down the stove area and put the dishes in the dishwasher and run it, and that is it. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this super easy vodka pasta recipe. I hope you guys give it a try. It's really yummy. I will have all of the ingredients listed down below along with measurements. And don't forget to go check out Meg's video right after this video. It will be linked down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe before you leave. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. It's quite a long